Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Walsh here. I hope you are all doing well. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about poetry. We're starting a brand new unit in Writer's Workshop. This is a fun unit and you can really express yourself in fun ways, unusual ways, and ways that make you feel really good. So anyway, it's poetry. And poetry is a beautiful use of language to show feelings and ideas. Now, these ideas could be, oh, you know, something that you've been thinking about a long time. They could be something funny, but whatever they are, they show your ideas, your feelings. Poets make their own rules, and that's the part that kids really enjoy. Poems can be short or long. It doesn't have to rhyme. It could be funny. It could even be a little sad. It can be sweet. You get to decide. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is a little poem that I wrote, and I did that to show you that it can happen pretty easily. I like to get up early in the morning. So I wrote the early morning, and it starts here. It goes down, it says, soft blue gray sky, peaceful. Notice it's only one word there. Birds chirping, calling. So there's a little bit of action. Cool air, quiet except for birds. Getting brighter now, a car drives by. You can kind of tell that the morning is moving along and things are waking up. So that's one that I wrote, it's personal, um, and it was just at my dining room table when I got up in the morning. Um, poetry writing form. Now this is what is really great about poetry. You don't have to write a whole story. You don't have to write a paragraph. There's a few things you do need to do for poetry though. You need to have a title and that'll reflect your idea. Don't use sentences. Wow, that's a big departure from what we usually do. Have line breaks. That means where it stops. This is a line break. Cool air, peaceful, soft, blue, gray sky. Those are called line breaks. You use capital letters where you want. So you're the boss of this. You use punctuation where you want, or you don't use it. You're the boss of it. No need to rhyme. Show feelings and ideas. And the rhyming thing is very important to remember because most of us think of poetry as like Dr. Seuss, something like that where there's lots and lots of rhyming and silly words. Many poems have no rhyming at all. The last part I wanted to talk to you about were some ideas for poems because you might say, okay, Mrs. Walsh, what do we do now? But here's just a few little ideas and then you can come up with your own. Ocean on a sunny day. We live here by the beach, so that's a nice theme. Nighttime sky with stars. Hiking in the mountains running fast. How does that feel? Play with your family. We all like to do that. Love. What are some of the things you love? And a new pet. I put that there because so many kids are telling me they're getting a new puppy or a new little pet. So anyway, boys and girls, poetry is fun. You get to make your own rules. You are the boss of your poetry. You are the poet. I hope you enjoy this form of writing. Have fun with it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.